Hi, I'm Pamela Lavelle and I'm with the Business Exchange and we're in San Antonio, Texas today at the International Franchise Association's annual convention and I'm with Stan Friedman. Welcome, Stan. Thank you. Pleased to be with you. So Stan is with FRM Solutions, which is a... FRM Solutions is a solution provided to franchisors to help manage what FRM says it is, franchise relationship management. So we're software, CRM and content management, all specifically designed and customized franchise wars to use in managing relationships with prospective as well as existing franchises. Okay. So my question, because you are the expert. Well, I'm a, I'm a recovering franchise or so, you know, right now I'm on the supplier side of the business, but my 26 or seven years before getting into the supplier side, we're all on franchise development and franchise relationship management. So the Zor side of the business is where I'll, I'll okay. speak to you today. Okay. So my question is if I'm a franchisor, um, what is a realistic expectation of um, how long it takes to convert and all the steps involved before a lead turns into an actual franchisee? Well, there are a lot of steps that should be fundamentally there for any kinds of concepts in any franchise of any size or any category in business. Um, it's not an overnight decision. You're not, you know, you're not going to the store and buying something that you can return if you don't like it. So it's a lifestyle decision. It's a lifestyle decision that not only involves the person who's making it, is going to operate the business, but family members as well that are needed to be in support of that effort, uh, whether they're involved in the business or not. Um, you know, depending on the complexity of the franchise concept and depending upon the investment range that it's in, uh, those answers might swing one way or the other. But I would say as an average, there ought to be maybe six to eight weeks minimum, and there ought to be several steps. You don't go from lead to franchising without going from lead to qualified lead and then going from qualified lead to opportunity because if you didn't qualify them, there is no opportunity. Yeah. If you open an opportunity, then you have many steps between first conversation as an opportunity all the way through getting deeper into financial and real estate considerations, yeah. um, discovery days, uh, learning of what it takes to do the business. Um, you have to get disclosed, you have to have a conversation about the disclosure, um, so FDD reviews. You know, a minimum I would suggest of six or eight touch points over maybe a six or eight week period. Yeah. And between each of those touch points, you should be giving your prospect an awful lot of homework to do so that you've got things to discuss on your scheduled calls that will speak to what do you hear, what do you feel about what you're learning, how do you feel about it, um, and then as the franchisor, you're going to be assessing how you feel about what it is they're telling you and how well they're leaning into the opportunity and understanding what engagement in this business would require. Okay. So a lot like dating, mm -hmm. you're both interviewing each other. It's not um, a one-way street. It's, it is so much like dating and sometimes one and done is all it takes, right? Other times you go on a couple of dates but you're still showing your best face and yeah. it's not until maybe the fourth or fifth time that you're together that you kind of start to really see some of the things that are involved in the makeup and the demeanor, the DNA of the person yeah. that you're speaking with and uh, break bread with them. It's a good thing to have a meal with your yeah. candidates at some point. You're going to just learn a lot more about them. Bring them in for a discovery day, have them spend the night, have them come into the store, have them maybe even behind the counter if it's retail, or, yeah. but have them really engage in seeing what a day in the life of your business is all about and watch them as they're watching you. Yeah. Great advice. Thank you.